Hello everyone, Gebatron here. This video is a gameplay plus commentary guide focusing on armor play and Hell Let Loose. These get long, so let's get into it. First thing I always do is look at the squads to find either clan mates or familiar names. Uh, playing with people you already have a rapport with will usually lead to better communication and more effective play. That typically translates into more fun. I know both Wix and Senator, so I request to join their squad. Always remember that it's perfectly acceptable to request to join locked squads. Many officers lock them simply to have more control over people coming in and out of them, not necessarily because they don't want people to join. So never be afraid to try and join a lock squad. I've been accepted into the squad, so the next step is to pick a loadout and appearance. Appearance is less important as an armor crew, and I'm happy with mine here, but I do take the extra moment to make sure I have the mechanic loadout. This loadout includes two smoke grenades and a torch, which will allow us to be able to do repairs to our vehicle out in the field without having to be dependent on friendly engineers or having to drive back to the HQs. It's rare that friendly engineers build repair stations too, so I almost always choose this loadout as an armor crew member. However, when I play tank commander, I usually stick to the standard loadout so I can keep my SMG in the event I have to exit the vehicle to clear enemy infantry. Wix is the tank commander, or TC, and lets me know where to spawn. Grabbing the default panzer center. Always let your crewmates know this to save time and to be efficient. Default panzer center. Alright, where to? Oh, uh, let's see what we got here. Just uh, try to get us east uh, as far as you can during the warm-up. We're gonna probably try to come down the Pierre's Farm Road um, and just kind of engage them head on to begin with. I like it. Yep. So just then, Wix gave us some pretty specific instructions. He wants us to go east, then take the Pierre's Farm Road in order to approach the move mark here. This will put us in a good spot to not only be able to support friendly infantry in their efforts to capture the middle point, but it will also put us in a position where we present our thickest armor to the enemy. We should also have plenty of cover to duck behind should we get outmatched. But that's not what happens and we make some mistakes that lead to our early demise. The first and biggest mistake here has to do with our pathing, and I see armor players do this all the time. Cutting corners to save a little time, or just taking bad approaches to objectives in general. Early match truck drivers do this a lot too. Try to get onto that road. I mean, they're gonna. It depends how they go, but they could have their medium coming straight down the road. I don't know if they're gonna do that, but just try to get around the move mark. When we get close to the road, we might kind of slow down and just peek it first before we commit. Just yeah, just keep going north a little bit more, and then we'll go right on the other side of this hedge. Looks like there's a steward on that attack mark right there. Let's see if we can see it. Just go through here. Just head on this line now. Just keep going on that line. See what else we got on recon. There's a truck in the point. Um, go through that opening right there. Okay. Kind of adjust the plan here since we got a mark. So this is more or less the path Wix suggested. He later revised it to look a little more like this once Senators turns north. But this ends up being the route we actually end up taking. Either one of the first two routes puts us in an excellent position with options. The enemy is likely to either come from here or here. So if we are on our move mark, we keep our frontal armor presented and we can duck in and out of cover if we need to. We lose these advantages with this position, as any enemy armor coming from this area will see either our side or rear, and any enemy armor here will see our side, all while not giving us great angles to shoot back. So let's let this play out, and we'll talk about it more in a bit. I hear something. Yeah, this is... Newer, 
there, there might be something to the left off the road. Go, go right more. Go like over there. To the right. I can see the muzzle flash too, north. Alright, hold here, hold here. Alright, this is... Sherman on the road. Start pulling forward. Yeah, turn the gun to the left. left. 90 degrees left. Just just pull the pull the tank straight onto the road. Okay. Just waiting for the gun to line up. Yeah, right, just point go. the gun like down the road, I guess. Parallel to the road. Where you are right now is good. And then just pull the pull the tank straight. Uh our Lux just died. Oh shit, it's the medium right there. Fuck, back up, reverse, reverse, reverse. Alright, just uh, back right reverse, like reverse and point it to 30 in reverse. Keep the gun pointed towards that tank. It's about to have around. a Hold right here, hold right. Oh yeah, he's coming. Shoot. I think we're fucked, but let's give it a shot here. Oh, come on! Oh, he fucked up! Oh. What the hell killed us? Is that an AT rocket? A rocket. <laughs> That's disappointing because that was clearly not a steward on the mark that they told us was a steward exactly yeah. 10 seconds before he pulled out into the road. Just bad information. Happens. Got him on the next one. You know, that's probably partially my fault because I saw it was a Sherman before you called it out as a Sherman and I didn't say anything. I thought you knew it was a Sherman. No, I had no idea. I was told it was a Stewart, literally right when we stopped and I said stop, I confirmed, I asked, I'm like, that's a Stewart, there's nothing else? He said, no, there's just a Stewart. <laughs> so I was oh. like, all right, well, we'll just pull out, kill this guy and back up and then whatever. Oh, well, we, we did damage it a little. Yeah, it's not it's a big better, deal. Better than nothing. We get killed and the biggest reason was because we were in a poor position. Initially, our side was presented to the enemy, and even after we turn to face them, we are still outflanked by enemy infantry, and this is in part because we are in close quarters with very little infantry support. So first we come in at a bad angle, and second we aren't using our range to our advantage. Now there is a little bit of miscommunication happening here. Wix thought we were facing a steward based on some poor information he received, and we all failed to acknowledge the info given to us by Hassel. Uh, it is frustrating to get inaccurate information, but that is out of our control. What is in our control is the route we take. Did we get to the point quickly? Yes, but we were not able to fight effectively and made little to no impact on the battle. So the point I'm trying to drive home here is plan your approaches thoughtfully. Try to predict where the enemy will be coming from and route yourself accordingly. Try not to get into close quarters engagements and let infantry do the occupying while you support them. We're going to have enough for a medium in a couple minutes, but the uh, default will respawn in a couple minutes too. I think we should just wait for that and try to bank some few. You guys are cool. Just Sounds wait another good. minute. Yeah, do you want you want to take the Panzer IV or the Recon when it spawns in? Uh, whatever one comes first, I guess. Actually. Okay. I just I just don't want to spend the money, spend the fuel on a medium right now. Yeah, I understand. I I use a Especially, lot of the uh, uh, auto spawn vehicles, honestly. I I try to. It sucks when nobody else wants to wait, and you're like, oh, we just spent 200 fuel on a medium, and there's literally like one gonna pop up for free in a minute. This little conversation revolves around the resources in the game, specifically fuel. I advise that all tank crews, tank commanders especially, keep an eye on this throughout the match. Using the auto spawn vehicles over vehicles that require fuel to spawn can help your team bank the fuel resource, especially early, which can help ease the burden on your commander. I know we all want the biggest, best tanks, but don't overlook the agility of some of those smaller vehicles. All good. We're uh, right side in the Puma. I see. If one of you guys wants to gun, let me know. I'm, I'm willing to do anything. Sounds good. We can trade up on the next one. I offer to change positions here, so let's take a moment and touch on where I generally think the different players should be. 
So first off, let me say that if it's not my tank crew, then I'll gladly do anything the tank commander asks. I enjoy all the seats. If I am the tank commander, I prefer to be in the spotter seat. I think it is easier to leave marks and I can do it line of sight or via the map, where if I'm not the spotter, I can only leave marks via the map. I also feel it's easier to communicate with my crew and other teammates if I'm not also focusing on other tasks like changing gears, etc. If I'm playing with a couple inexperienced players, then sometimes I will drive as the tank commander just to try and ease some of that micromanagement that comes along with this situation. But generally I think it is best to have the tank commander be the spotter. They want us to turn around and uh, go look at that garrison. So can you uh, turn back and go east or just turn east somewhere and get back towards that garrison? Probably just going to end up getting AT rocketed, but that's what they want <laughs> us to do. Can you guys well, search actually out? hold here on this road for a second? Hold here on this road. Uh... Alright, go ahead. There they are. Infantry around attack and defend. Oh, fuck. I see them. Um, go right in, yeah, shoot whatever you see. We got some friendlies here. All right, it's cleared up now, actually. Left, 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 right by the wall. Just hold right by, right by that wall, that wooden gate right there. He's right behind there. You can pull forward. I think he's just hiding from us right now. So just pull around that wall, kill him. Run him over right there, even if you want. Squish him. Uh, I think he got shot before we got there. Oh, well, all right, well, we did our job. The tank commander is the most important armor role, obviously, as you need them to communicate with other squads and the commander, but I think the most important seat is the driver's seat. The quality of an armor crew's driver is going to have the biggest impact on their failure or success. Why? Armor is all about positioning and it takes skill to be able to get into and out of position efficiently. The best drivers are familiar with the map, know how the different terrain types affect the tank, understand how their position affects gun depression, are proficient at changing gears, are good at quickly processing information from the map, have a good eye for mines and enemies, they understand how the vehicle's orientation affects the gunner, and finally understand the role of a machine gun on the battlefield. A lot goes into being a good driver, which is why a lot of tank commanders prefer to take that seat. We'll, uh, we'll go up here, swing around that, um, like that walled-in area right there, and then kind of go look at cattle sheds and um, kind of head back towards Pierre's. Actually, we're taking Pierre's right now, so... If we can soften up cattle sheds if we get there in time. Now none of this is to say that having a skilled gunner isn't also important, but it is typically easier to recover from a gunner's mistake than it is from a driver's mistake. A missed shot is unfortunate, but being stuck in a bad position is a death sentence. What makes a good gunner? Gunners should know what ammo types to use in what situations and be able to switch between them efficiently. They should be able to help spot enemies and movement as best they can. They should understand how their gun orientation affects the vehicle's capabilities. They should be familiar with how the different zoom levels affect turret traverse speed. Check the top right. They should know the different indicators for penetrating hits, non-penetrating hits, ricochets, and misses. And finally, they should know where to shoot the enemy armor to get the desired effect. And right now you're saying, oh my god, Gabatron, it's not that deep, just point and click. While it is true that the gunner seat is more forgiving and lends itself best to the less experienced members of the crew, the best gunners know all of this stuff and they use that information to help elevate their crew. Good tank commanders know all of this, plus they have good leadership and communication skills, should understand resources, and can tie all of it together. I want you guys to pay extra close attention to Wix as this match progresses, as I think he does an excellent job of communicating his intentions to the crew and displays a deep knowledge of how armor works and how let loose. So maybe just a load HE, I guess, right now, before we get too close. Just burn the AP and load HE. Sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're not likely to kill it. Um, yeah. Yeah, just try to go to the next opening. I mean, you might be able to, but... 
road looks uh, Once clear. we get to the opening, just turn and uh, hold for a second. I'm going to take a recon snapshot over cattle sheds. Smart. There's a transport truck moving left of us. He's uh, 60, moving to the right. So 70-ish now. Oh, I can't see him anymore. He's just, just going go. left. He's going to be like, yeah, he's still around 60, 70 ish. Keep driving. I'll tell you to stop if I see it. Um, There's a supply crate back there. Go left for a second. Go left. There's a supply crate right here. There could be a garrison around here. Just to kind of circle around these buildings on the right. Yeah, uh, transport trucks right ahead of us, right in oh, front of us. Yeah, supply truck. Yeah, blow that too. I hit those supplies too. I don't know if maybe he didn't get it down yet, but um, I'm looking. Yeah, it's to the. It's okay. Left, go left. Go left on the road. Yeah, yeah. Go, go left to the hedge. Sorry, back up. Go left to the hedge. There's a garrison right on that ping. Got to back up. Shoot! 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 Oh. Oh fuck. Just shoot the garrison, there, yeah. There. Okay, because I, I, I didn't have enough depression before. That's fine. There's still a guy in that trench. He's trying to... He's not going to be able to rebuild it. Just get us out of here. Um, kind of circle us back and go back towards cattle sheds, which is southeast currently. However, whichever way you want to go. Earlier, we were in a Panzer IV, okay. so we took a more direct and immediate approach, attacking the strong point, as medium armor is fairly combat effective and decently resilient. Now that we are in a Puma recon vehicle, you'll notice that we take a much less direct approach. Our vehicle's capabilities have changed, so we need to take on a different role. That's not to say that recon vehicles can't also provide direct support to infantry or to other armor, but their speed and agility make them perfect candidates for behind-the-lines activities. Things like like sniffing out enemy garrisons, delaying or distracting enemy armor, uh, eliminating enemy trucks, tracking down enemy supply drops. You can even take them all the way back to harass enemy artillery if you need to. These types of activities will help soften the enemy's hold on an area and should translate into more successful offensive operations. How about defense? They can be useful there too. Uh, we have an example here where we help defend one of our garrisons. While I try to not get sucked too deep into the action, the recon vehicle speed makes it excellent at responding quickly to trouble areas. Going from one flank to the other in a short period of time is is a strength and we haven't even mentioned the recon vehicles ability to take pictures revealing enemy locations to certain friendly players these vehicles are pretty disruptive in the right hands and are often overlooked and underutilized wix does a phenomenal job of communicating what he wants us to do and how he intends to use the recon vehicle transport truck supply in front truck of in us. front of us just just hold just hold he's at like 320 yep Nice. He drops it. Hold, 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 hold. He drops supplies right on that ping. Take those out real quick. All right, keep moving. Just keep doing what we're doing. Let's not let him. Uh, let's not let him build up too much on this point. Damn. That's, a, that's about what I expected to happen eventually. We were able to defend a friendly garrison, take out a light tank, two trucks and their supplies, multiple spawns, and even a few infantry. Not the best run I've ever had by any means, and I would have liked to disrupt that area for longer, but not bad at all. We used our vehicle to soften the enemy's hold on cattle sheds. We're going to spawn left. You want me to drive? Sure, if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. Alright, just uh, wherever you can, just kind of go north. Uh, you can go through here, actually, right where the move mark is. Want me to take a right on this road? No, we're just going to keep going north. We'll eventually kind of pick up on the road, but we don't really need to drive uh, straight, straight on the roads here. Just kind of keep moving north wherever you can. We'll probably pick it up like around here, and then we'll take the road up for a little bit, maybe. There's some good... I think eventually we're going to try to work towards... Um, 
There's some good high ground by the attack mark that looks over cattle sheds. Um, if we have, if we haven't capped cattle sheds by then, we'll probably settle up there at least for a moment before we move in. Just follow this road for a little bit. We'll uh, pull off maybe around that move mark and go towards the attack. Ooh, a lot of infantry southeast of the point. We can just sit up on that hill on the attack mark, and we can just launch a, a HE into the into the barns and probably get the garrison. But it, it looks like they're going to have cattle sheds pretty soon. There's a pretty strong attack going on there. Yeah, I'm surprised how strong that attack is with like no garrisons. Uh, trench in front of you is go right a little bit. Yep, you should be good here. Shed towards the move mark. It looks like they're going to have cattle sheds. We don't even have a lot of people on the circle right now, but we're still capping it, so. The only thing you should, only shitty thing about the Tigers, it takes forever to get there. Yeah. It's actually, we're gonna wanna go like to the right more, right where that hedge ends. Right over here, we're gonna wanna pull up right next to it. We take cattle sheds and it's hard to say if that was because of our actions earlier or not, but I like to think it helped. Right next to the edge of that hedge. It's kind of too late now. We captured cattle sheds, but we can stop here real quick. We can see a, a fair bit, see what we can see here. You're going to kind of go half into the trench, but you should be fine. There you go. Just hold right here now. Just take a look and see what we got. Another thing that Wix has here that is important for any tank commander is map knowledge. He leads us to the spot here where we can see over a great distance. He has us stop to take a look and take a breath before we react to our new situation. Generally, looks like we're gonna get a garrison down. Uh, oh fuck, just got hit. Uh, yeah, spin us around, there's a steward behind us. Spin left. We take some fire. Anticipating your crewmates' needs is important in a tank crew. Something I want you to notice here is how Senators tells me he doesn't have gun depression. I don't have depression, we gotta back up a bit. Back up. Okay, here we're good. But you'll notice that before he alerts me, I was already shifting and moving to fix the issue. Excellent work by Senators pointing this out, as communication is key and he has no way of knowing I'm aware of it, but because I do have experience, I was able to anticipate that problem and correct it without direction. It's something really small, but those are the types of things that will be the difference between good crews and not so good crews. Uh, should be able to just keep going left, you'll get it to land. He ran away south. Um, let's just keep pushing north. I mean, I'm, we're not gonna... We're not gonna... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's on that mark. All right, let's 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 go a little bit. Go over here. Let's see if we can see, but we're not gonna be able to chase him. He knows we know he's there, so he's not really gonna challenge us. We have to be cognizant that he's out there. He's on attack mark, though, we think? Yeah, the attack mark was... Oh, he's moving, though. Yeah, just turn us around and go north, sorry. He's 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 bugging out. I'm not gonna waste time going after him. I'll just have to be on my toes for our backside. Um, so just start going back towards the move mark. Alright, we got an airhead dropping over there. E2. Trying to get a garrison up in that area, so we'll just kinda head towards there. Hopefully by the time we get there there's some infantry pushing. Everybody's kind of spread out, so it's kind of hard to hard to judge where we're going to be safe at right now. We don't even have a garrison on cattle sheds. I just love how Wix communicates. He makes the right call here, as we just won't be able to keep up with the enemy light armor, and redirects us, saying he's going to stay vigilant to our rear. You may be thinking that he talks too much, or that he's too much of a micromanager, but I'm here to tell you that he's doing it right telling us how he wants the gun versus the hull oriented and where he wants to go and why lets us better understand and participate and anticipate. Wix is the reason I chose this video. If you want to take your armor game to the next level, then learn from Wix's example. Just catch it a little on the right side. Should be good. 
Close enough. Just gotta keep moving north towards that mark. Got a little bit of uh, infantry over there. Supplies dropping on winners right now. To the left of the building in front of us. Yeah, he's laying down right there. Right on the little rubble right next to it. Got him. Smoke to our left. Man, this is weird. Like, he's not even dropping supplies on cattle sheds to get a care, so our commander's there, but. <sighs> not my monkey, not my circus. Alright. There he is again. There's a kill. I saw some through this gap over here too, but I can't see him now. Okay, we got some infantry filling behind us. That was our Lux just died. Whenever you see, I'm just watching our back. There's a tank mark by the by somebody way out by cattle shed. But I think that's the steward. He's way off. If we're sitting here watching this building, we should get someone to take it. Yeah, we. Oh, I see it. What's Sergeant Unknown doing? Him. The steward's dead. Just keep, just keep watching it. Keep watching that building. Can you pull forward like uh, two, three feet. That was AT right there. He's not gonna do anything to the front of us. We're fine, just hold. Just, you can't do anything from the front. Fox lost their OP. Man, this is so weird. We... Alright, let's um reverse for a little bit. We're gonna kind of re, uh, redeploy ourselves. Just back up straight for a little bit, and then we're gonna swing and face to the west, to the left. Um, actually, to get to an opening, we're gonna go face 204. So I'm gonna send face the whole 204. We're gonna go back over by our infantry on the west side because I don't want to sit here. Let's go through this gate right here. Came over here hoping that somebody would get a garrison up, but uh, it didn't happen. How are we doing on ammo and shit? Good. 35 AP, 41 HE. Uh, go into this road and go left. Left on the road? Left on the road, yeah. Another good decision by Wix to pull out of this area as we have very little support and no spawns to rally a push from. So we relocate to help in an area where our friendlies are more concentrated. Infantry support is key to surviving in armor. Yeah, tank shown. Rather, Tiger sounds like he's getting AT'd. Um, go straight west across this field. the gun right. Actually, turn it right more, see if you can help that uh, other tiger. They might be dealing with, uh, just, no, keep the whole goal, keep our, keep our tank going west. Just keep the gun right, see if you can maybe support that tiger if he needs it. He should be 
fine because he's front facing them all. I think it's just his, uh, I don't know, he's got some full damage there, but they should be fine. Um, go through here, and then we're gonna go right on that road. There's like a pink road across towards the move mark that we're gonna go on. Northwest? Yeah. Yeah, right on this side of this hedge. You should see it. Right down here. Keep the gun like front right. And we're gonna wrap around, the, well, yeah, yeah, just, just go down this road. Kind of pull up to this opening right here. Just kind of just stay in the road. We can look to the right through it. Should be a better spot. We'll have a lot of infantry with us. All right, just kind of yeah, pull up a little bit more. Just a couple more feet. That's good. Guy right there. It's our tiger we keep here shearing shooting. Alright, let's uh Ooh. and see where that came from. He's just on the patch we're good, he's on a rocket. Yeah, we're fine. He's out of rockets now. Uh pull forward down the road. We have infantry pushing up, let's push up with them. Um, like northwest. Uh, Just keep I'm pushing gonna... up on this road in like second gear or something. I'm gonna pull up by this hedge and repair quick. Uh, don't worry about it, it's just the tracks. We'll be okay. Okay, it seems safe here though. All right, we can stop right around this hedge here. We got infantry support. I'll get out too. We can both get out and just do it real quick. Wherever you want to stop here, this hedge is uh, solid. If I die, it's your fault though. <laughs> I'm glad Wix let us repair here. We are in a safe spot and that damage to our tracks may not seem like a big deal right now, but that's the difference between one shell or two shells taking out our tracks. And a tank without mobility is just a toilet with a gun waiting to get destroyed. My advice is to well, always yeah, repair any damage right as now. soon He's as like it's AFK. safe so you're always entering combat at full strength. Don't let not taking care of your tank be the reason you lose it. Yeah, I'm trying to, we just kicked our commander because he was AFK because he never built a bunch of garrison there. So let's just stay here for right now because we can't get back there in time. You just got to be careful that if the infantry support here dries up, we're going to be kind of screwed. I can't see much from here. Right. Go forward a little bit. Turn to the right into this field. Sharp right. Infantry over by that ping. Hold right here. Just hold right here. Yeah, we're gonna uh, lose cattle sheds. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Reverse and face us uh, southeast. We just gotta bug out here because our infantry are gonna die and not have any spawns. And we're gonna be kinda holding the bag. So just go back down the road we came on. Back, actually just drive straight south across the field. As fast as you can. Get the gun off the back. Start, start moving towards that move mark. All due haste. Nothing more we can do here, so we full-on retreat. Another good call and great awareness by Wix. Just tracks, just keep moving. I don't know where it came from. I was looking the other way. I got him. Nice. All right, let's keep moving. I have HE in at the moment, just so you guys know. That's fine. I, there's no tank marks out there. We just got to get out of here before we die. You want just me keep to moving take a, south. You want me to take a left at the move? Um... 
Let me see what it looks like. We're probably gonna keep going south if we can somewhere. Okay, how are we on ammo? Good. Um, let me see, I'm gonna see if there's an opening. I'll try to tell you in time to, to let you know. Yeah, you should be able to get through that wall there and just keep going south. We're not gonna go too much further because they got a garrison up to counterattack quick on the cattle shed, so we'll stop around there, repair the tracks, and uh, re-engage cattle. So we'll go up on that hill we stopped at before, after we repair. Head towards that move mark. I don't want to turn right now going up this hill. That's fine, whenever you can. We're basically at the flat part now. Turning your tank in Hell Let Loose makes you lose momentum. You lose even more if turning up an incline, and I didn't want to downshift and lose speed. Spot right on the side of the hedge. Understood. Let's just drop some shells in the barns because it's probably where their garrison is. We should be able to get it. There's a guy on the wall right there, sniper right there. On that ping at uh, 44. Okay. Feel... Found on that shot. Nice. Keep, uh, just keep filling the barns and anything else you see out there for, we're not going to stay here too much longer, but let's uh, just keep trying to cut off any uh, any defense they have while our guys kind of regroup and start pushing in. The machine gunner right there, laying on top of some wood. You're a little high. Alright, that blew the fuck up out of them. Senators does some good shooting here, which is made even more effective with Wicks adjusting him. Teamwork makes the dream work. Shoot a few more shots and then we'll start moving up before some uh, enterprising young anti-tank infantry with a satchel finds us. He's back. There's a guy in the wood pile again right there. Got that guy again. Guy got off the wood pile on another ping. They're not really rolling tanks out at us. Oh, well, for sure. Alright, uh, spit us around. We got a 180. There's a Greyhound behind us. On the attack mark. You can leave a... Uh, yeah, just spin us. We gotta face uh, southeast, like 140, as soon as possible. Oh, we're giving our back right to him. You gotta turn forward and left as fast as you can. Keep turning the gun. He's at 150. Hold, 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 hold. Alright, pull forward, pull forward, pull forward. Keep turning the gun off the back. He's gonna tr probably try to flank us again. Uh, yeah, just pull forward up? so he can... Uh, no, just pull forward, pull forward straight towards that mark. Uh, he's over at uh, 110 now. He's coming around in front of us again. Uh, go onto this road to the right. Keep the gun off the... Get the gun off the front now. He's gonna come out right in front of us here. Turn turn 90 right, 90 degrees right. Or just go through here, just go through here, sorry. I think on the left, you might see him if there's an opening here. Yeah, he's right on the... He's right on the left side of us on the other side of this hedge. Left or right? Fine. On the left, he's on the left. All right, left here. Hard left? Yes, yep, on the road. I'm trying to find where he is now. Just go down this road now. I don't I don't know where he is anymore. 
hopefully he doesn't know where we are either. Just keep going down this road, keep the gun left. Want me to go fast or slow? Uh, fast is fine, full speed. No clue where he went, he could be anywhere now. Full left, uh, end of this, top of this hill again. I don't think he knows where we are either, which is a good thing. He's obviously a lot more mobile than we are. Um, just keep moving across this field. We'll kind of go towards our infantry now. by now uh, yeah just shoot shoot wherever you can I'm not so worried about the Greyhound now that we know it's around I just got to pay attention I mean it... Greyhound was killed, it, it went over to our other tanks over there, and the Lux killed it. Pull us up over here and turn us to the right. Bait, like, just sit kind of right here and face, like, 60. Just hold. There's a guy right there. I mean, the, the, the side opening on the one is right here. Oh, there's a bunch of infantry right there's two machine gunners right there at 80. There's another one right there, but I think he left. Right, we have a recon next to us, a recon tank that's gonna kind of support us. Pull us, uh, pull us up towards there a little bit, a little bit more. All right, hold. So now you can see in there. I think you just shot in there. Can you yeah, can you see the rafters up there? I can shoot for the ping, yeah. I think you got it in there. Nothing on that. Get a little more infantry. Uh, I wouldn't mind pushing them push in there. Don't really have a whole lot of volume with us right now, unfortunately. Let's um, let's cross into this next field to the east of us. Go, go towards a hundred right there. There's a ping. This uh, open hedgerow hedge opening. It might catch a little bit, but you should be able to get over that with a tiger. And then once we get over, just face us north. We're coming through that uh, opening, Alcatraz. Watch out. Use proximity to let friendly players know your plans to avoid team kills. <laughs> or fly away. <laughs> hard left or what? Yeah, hard left. Right around this uh, wood. gonna kind of face north and then we're gonna reverse a little bit. Actually, just hold here right behind this wood pile. It's fine right here. Using obstacles in the environment to help shield your tank is often overlooked. Try to keep this in mind, especially when moving into close quarters. All right, you can shoot into the rafters of the right one. A guy just came out of the right one, so just. I think it's Build. back left on the right bunker. I'll try to get one in there. I just saw. Should be able to. Might be able to get it if you get there. Also notice how our approach to cattle sheds here was slow and deliberate. Unlike at the beginning of the game, we advanced alongside our infantry and as a result we were safer and better able to affect the outcome of this engagement. Are you re-kill friendlies? Yeah, we're trying to re-kill- uh, oh, Senator, Senator's on the gun. No, I didn't kill him. 
No, kill, no kill team one. kills on that. Sorry. Okay, they're talking about the other tanks then. They got supplies dropping right on the roof of cattle, of the barn. Alright, there's a guy running around there. Alright, just keep, uh... Stay right here, I think we're... A lot of infantry showing on recon around this attack mark. So the Puma just got AT'd. AT's at 350, but he's not gonna be able to do anything from there. Got our tracks like I give a shit. We're kind of on our own here too now. There's not a lot of infantry in this area. Um, oh boy. Like a friendly bombing room. I'm out of. I'm out of. Can MC you rounds. can you hit this post right there? I just got the garrison. It's in the left barn. All right, we're just gonna hold here. Then we got infantry pushing in. Just watch your shots on the right side. Infantry on the left side of the farm. Alright, watch, they're, they're starting to go into the left barn. Um, alright. Dump into the left, dump into the left barn. <laughs> left of the barn. Keep, just keep spraying it in there. He said there's still enemy in there. We're out of the left bar. We're out of machine gun. Yeah. Only got AP. Okay. How about a machine gun as well? We don't have HE either. No, down to 29 AP. All right, just just keep AP doing what you can. Um. All right, reverse. Get us. We're gonna get around this wood pile. Hold on a second. Oh, we're captured without us. That's fine. Just hold here. Three to one on the cap. Still in that barn somewhere. We have a lot of fuel, so once we capture this, we're just gonna kinda drive into Winter's Landing. It sucks that we don't have any machine gun ammo either, but we'll probably just die, but then we can get another one, so it doesn't matter. Let's just start moving right now. Just uh, just get us around this wood pile and go north on this road next to cattle sheds. We'll go uh, go around that attack mark and look for a fallback garrison first. We're gonna be the slowest recon tank in the world right now. <laughs> Make sure I don't hit on the right side. Uh, this. yeah, you sh should be go left a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Hope oh, you got it. You should be able to climb right. You're not gonna fit. We need to fit. Nice. <laughs> You're not gonna fit this fucking guy. It's close. Well, we almost, we almost keep did. Going. I had to, keep I had going to, north. I had to downshift. Downshifting can help you overcome obstacles. As a driver, make sure you are relying on your tank commander's perspective to help you fit through tight spots and navigate. Should we repair this track at all? It's not affecting us right now. Just keep going. There's guys at the end of this road. I would have liked to repair the track, but ultimately we got to do what the tank commander wants. Just pinging the fewer there at that other intersection. Just keep, keep going north on this road. I wish it made sense to go back and repair, but that's like a 15 minute drive and it's a 32 right. minute game and we have to get another one, so. It sucks that like that's the meta, to abandon your tank, you know? Yeah, it'd be nice if there was a way, like a way for the ammo drop they're adding to like do right. something for tanks. Yeah. Or keep something, moving. 
Or something for an engineer to build. Yeah. Yeah, you get like a hundred supplies or something and they can build like, uh... I guess... I don't even care if it's 150, because you, you know, if you, you want to make it hard to build, that's fine. Yeah. Just make it, like there's, there's just not a lot of fun factor in the like, alright, let's drive 15 minutes to re reload our tank. Alright, go left. Uh, you go around this building, go left. You don't have to go on the road, just go left around this building. Sorry, I kind of told you that late. Oh, there's a guy just, uh, support just put supplies, they're building a garrison right here. Just shoot, right there. I don't know, I didn't that get it. Could... That's funny. We like watched him build it. <laughs> Alright, uh, guy's running away over there. Just keep driving. Keep driving now, uh, West here. We have a conversation about ammo. I would really love it if engineers could build an ammo depot so armor could rearm without having to drive all the way back to the HQ. Uh, maybe make it have three levels similar to barricades and bunkers. First level is the simple repair station. Second level adds MG ammo and the third level adds the shells. This way it would be expensive and take some effort and coordination to build. I think it should be limited to maybe just one per team, uh, but I really think this is something that could help bring yeah, some more depth to Hell Let Loose so and help coax some coordination between so tank crews and infantry squads with engineers. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Uh, keep going through this opening. Dinner's telling us about how his daughter just got married today. Who? He's in full grandpa mode. Oh, Tinner? Yeah, you hold here, I can destroy a transport truck. Dodge, hold. Shoot it. Infantry straight ahead of us, too, on, on this ridge. Yeah, there's infantry in front of us and right. They're spawning in that HQ, probably. Oh, shit, there's... Are any ATs behind us? Oh, uh, oh, turn oh, around, oh, they're oh, building oh. an AT gun behind us. 180, 180, 180. Notice that I put it in park every time we need to take a shot. Shooting while moving is always risky, so you want to stop and give your gunner the best possible situation. This also has the benefit of putting you just one button click away from either reverse or first gear, so it's quick and easy to get moving again if you have to bug out or spin quick. Let him kill us so we can get a new tank, but... Oh, straight ahead, medium, straight ahead, medium. Just level us out, uh, 80, 80, 80. Yep, that's good. Right there. Oh. All right, now just reverse and go back in the direction we were just going. Fortunate timing for them building that AT gun. Yeah. Well, I might have just Austin powered us. Um, if you do one more back right, yeah, you should be able to like climb now. Oh, there you go. You got it. Uh, there's definitely infantry to our right, but don't worry about it. Just just go west. Just go like straight into the point now. Ooh, we're taking it. They they just tried to take us out with a scraping run. I don't know what the hell that was. We're losing cattle sheds though, I think. <laughs> there's no garrison there again. Hold here, hold, hold, hold. Stop. That AP just went through like 10 people, I think. If you are going to move, try to move between shots and don't move any farther than your gunner can compensate for. For example, here Senator's fires, then I just turn a little to the left to present more of our armor. If you turn too far, it will take longer for your gunner to turn the gun to the target. Additionally, you can sometimes use the tank to help your gunner turn faster. Just make sure you are always aware of how your actions can either help or hinder your crewmates. Prioritize the needs of the vehicle over your specific seat's needs, and you will win more engagements. Gotta see the light in his eyes. Pull up to that move mark and get us in the circle. Might as well. Victory celebration. Couple good runs, guys. Oh, half track back there. 
They got a half. Hold here, hold for a sec. Just hold. Don't turn. Just take the shot. I'll get this half track down. Hold, 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 hold. Hey, half tracks down. All right, he missed with the second rocket anyway. We got it. I'm gonna slowly back up. Yeah. Five seconds left. We're in good shape. Good game, guys. Yep. Victory. We didn't break any records with our game here, but we did some pretty solid work and we definitely contributed to our team's victory. 70 infantry kills is respectable, 7 vehicle kills is a little low, we didn't see much for enemy armor, but other than the first encounter, we performed well against them. And even if you're only destroying light vehicles, that's just fine. You don't want the enemy to have any assets on the field. You need to eliminate enemy potential. Supply trucks have supplies that can build garrisons. Garrisons lead to area control. Transport trucks allow soldiers to traverse the battlefield quickly. Eliminating those trucks might not seem like a big deal, but you need to deny the enemy the tools that make their jobs easier. So never be disappointed that you're only destroying enemy light vehicles. I never get too worried about KD ratio or kill streak in an armor, but of course I want these to be high. I do like longest life as it can be a measure of how well you are handling your armor. Five structures destroyed is nice. Uh, that's five times we were able to wipe an enemy spawn off the map, giving our team the opportunity to take control of an area, and at the end of the day that's how you win in Hell Let Loose. We also get the highest combat score on the team, but that isn't surprising. Uh, tanks are powerful tools in the right hands. Uh, most importantly, I hope this video has shown what a good quality crew sounds like and how that high quality of communication and expressing your ideas to your crewmates will lead to you being successful and having a lot of fun. Even if we would have lost this match, I know I still would have had fun as I was playing with two people who were communicating well. This allows us to have clear goals and clarity as to how we're going to try and accomplish those goals. It's also important to be open to others' ideas when in a tank crew. Sometimes you'll have to compromise to accomplish shared goals. I also hope you learn from our mistakes so you don't have to make them yourself. Alright, I'll stop there. Make sure to comment with the things you liked or maybe you didn't like in the video or leave us your own tips down in the comments. As always, I really appreciate the support. I know these ones get long, so thanks for sticking it out. Check out these other Gameplay Plus commentary guides here or some tips in these other two videos. Please leave a like and share as these videos are difficult to make. Subscribe for more, check the description for other ways to support Gebatron Gaming. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.